I think that um, uh, you know, increasing um, biopsies and metastatic disease, real-time monitoring of disease, I think will eventually, over the next five years, be important. For example, can monitoring CTC changes, circulating tumor cell changes over over time, um, and p with, for patients with longer natural histories, redoing biopsies at multiple time points in metastatic disease for longer natural histories. Um, I think that um, the future is very bright for her two positive disease with all the new agents, and I think that um, there will be an increasing understanding of the of the subtypes of um, her two positive disease, possibly through the evaluation of um, phosphoproteins, in, you know, in the in the cell. Um, I think for ER positive disease, I think we're going to have a good understanding of the biology with which of the indolent cancers just can't can't die, and those are their that's their molecular. Pathogenesis, and for those patients, for those cancers, they may, may may need prolonged endocrine therapy. And then for the aggressive ER positives, we'll have a better understanding of the of the molecular abnormalities, which which amplicons, which which deletions, um, and and where are the pathway abnormalities. And you know, the Bolero two trial with Everolimus, I think, is a good step. We have the Antinostat data that were presented uh, here last night, um, also very, or yesterday afternoon, also very promising for the more aggressive. Um, ER positive cancer.